Hello everybody, it's Retro Robbins here, just going to give you some tips on how to do these LED illuminated keyboard from ZX Renew, which uh, I'm soldering the components on right now. Um, so if you're going to have a go at these, take a few tips from me because I've done plenty of them by now, so I should know uh, exactly the best way to go about it. Um, the first thing you've got to do is the, I don't know if you can see that on the camera view, sorry if I can't monitor the camera and do this at the same time, I will try to. Um, I start with the LEDs. The reason why the LEDs are the smallest component and can be the most fiddly component. Um, make sure you've got good tip management, give it a good clean, no blobs of solder on there. I like to use um, copper or rather than a sponge because I don't like wet, wetting my soldering tip because it can cause microscopic cracks in your tip. Um, so, you, first of all, you see if that's okay for you. Heat up one corner of the top pad I always do. Apply the solder to it, and then pull your soldering iron away. So first of all, place your soldering iron down. It heats up the pad ready. Add the solder, then pull the soldering iron away. Solder down, soldering iron down. Add the solder, pull the soldering iron away, and then you've tinned every pad that you're going to put your next component on. So it's soldering iron down, away, soldering iron down, you heat up the pad ready to take the solder and it will flow better on the pad then pull your soldering iron away. Clean your tip and the next thing is you take out the components you need, in this case the LEDs, take out what you need, place them um, say in this case I'm going to need nine, so I put nine down. Um, and then I twist them round ready so as I've got the right they've got the right polarity direction, um, which is negative at the bottom and of course uh, which is the opposite row round to the diode I believe. But uh, the key to it is if you want to do it quickly to, um, make sure that you've got a nice clean tip, pick up your component ready. And then place your soldering iron on the solder that you've just applied to your pad. Bring that across. Once it goes molten, slide it in. And then move your soldering iron away first. Because then that will give it time to dry and grip it. If you try moving that away first, moving your tweezers away first, you might end up having that stuck on and pulling the, the um, LED away. So grab your LED. I'm going to do this quickly now. Heat up the pad, once that goes molten, bring in your LED component, bring the soldering iron away, bring your tweezers out of the way. I'm going to do that again. Once it goes molten, bring that away. There we go. going to make it look simple, aren't I? It's not always this easy, but it can be easy and it can be quite enjoyable. No, you don't need a steady hand. Here we go. And I've got a little tip coming up that will help you. So now we're going. To, I'm doing the green at the moment. I've done most of the others. I've done all the uh, red. I've done all the yellow. I'm on the green, and I've got the blue to do. Well, this is the last one. Uh, the five boards that I'm working on at the moment that I'm doing the green. So melt the melt the solder, slide that in. Once it's gripped, move your soldering iron away and then let it cool down. If you're not happy, don't be afraid to go back and realign it. There we go. Uh, make sure I've got none on the blue section. And there we go. So grab it first with your tweezers. This is the last one I'm doing on this side. I've got to get some more out, more out in a minute. There we go. Right. Not happy with the alignment on that one, so I'm going to re-grab it. Then heat the pad up and just slide it into a more central position. Pull the soldering iron away and then remove your tweezers. And then, once you've done that, you can rotate it round. And I'm using 0.3mm solder. Clean your tip. 
which I think is the best one for the job I enjoy. You can uh, use a thicker grade if you like. This time, place your soldering iron onto the pad, up to the corner, and just bring your solder in. Then let the iron melt the solder nicely so it runs into its position. You won't need flux for this job. You tend to need flux when you're using a, a slightly larger component. I may have missed that one, but I'll just go back. Doesn't hurt. As I drop my eye winkle. You always know you're enjoying yourself when the eye winkle keeps falling out. Oops. There we go. So it's up. It's up. Flush away. Remember, soldering iron in first to so heat the pad up slightly. Then the solder. Then the solder. There we go. Right, stretch this out. I hope you can see this. Sorry if my little bald uh, head gets in the way. Remember, bald is beautiful. And I've got to keep telling myself that one day I might believe it. And I'm all here and I'll show you how to test these. There's a way of testing these that you'll like. So I'll just clean that off. Now, if you've got a multimeter, put it into the continuity setting on the multimeter. There's my multimeter. And let me just see if I make sure that's aligned nicely on there. And I'll put my eye ring clean just for this. Oh no, I don't need my eye ring clean, do I? I just need my glasses on. Um, now, put this to the negative up there in the corner, like so. Then, the first left hand pad, place that to, and you can see, you can then, there's not one there yet, um, you'll be able to test to make sure that each LED is nicely, there's not one there yet, down. And you've got good con continuity. As you can see, I've done all the yellow and I've done all the red. And I've got a few little green to do. And that's the way you can test using that. Obviously, it's got to travel all the way through the circuitry in order to test that. And that lets you know that whenever you've got everything in place, because the next thing you need to do, I suggest you do the resistor. Then do the big component itself, the micro switch. Big component, still small, but um, and because the ones on the edges are the easiest to work on, that's why I do the smallest component first because that's the most trickiest of the lot. And that's the way you do your little LED micro switch keyboard, which are really slim, elegant little things. I won't break these off, obviously, because I'm doing these for other people. Um, I'm just doing uh, Peter a favour, and I'm soldering up a few of these boards ready for him, because it's going to be a small demand for them, obviously. Um, and he's unable to cope with all of them, but, you know, and I don't mind doing people. Does me enough favours, does Pete. In the meantime, I'll be making some more videos later on on my YouTube channel, uh, taking the Crash Magazine reviews of certain games um, that didn't quite make a Crash Smash. Some did. I'm not going to try and avoid too many of the popular games. I want to go for ones that you've forgotten about, or maybe ones you haven't seen before. So if there's any suggestions of games that people don't mention very often and uh, you'd like me to have a look and review them, please uh, leave some comments for me. In the meantime, for me, Retro Robbins, and if you've not seen my YouTube channel before and you'd like to see more content like this or games reviews, please subscribe. But for me, thank you for watching, and uh, I hope I've helped you out at all. If uh, any of you are fancy in doing one of these kits, um, which are great, uh, it's like knitting for old blue blokes really isn't it well 48 not old I suppose <laughs> but if you know what I mean a little bit of patience it's great but for me it's you all take care and I'll uh, post some more videos soon thank you for watching bye bye